Okay, so we're going to the toy store. Looted 15% of that. Alright. Amelia's love Amelia loved visiting that toy store before the war. Now the soldiers turned it into an enhanced interrogation center. Apparently they're keeping the unfortunate doctor there. He's not there. Well there's no danger for us being there, surprisingly, so. Um all right, I'll take my shovel again. I didn't use it last time, but it might be good to have some kind of weapon, at least in a pinch, if we don't end up using it as a shovel. This is where the soldiers are keeping the doctor. He might know where Amelia is. I hope he does. I hope he does. What's this? So much destruction after the bombing. Will we ever be able to rebuild? Can you go down here? I think you can. Okay, we'll do that in a sec. Ooh, lovely components. Didn't see any soldiers yet, but must be careful. Okay, it didn't say there was any danger, but I don't know. It, it could be. It could be. He obviously thinks there is, so I'll keep my guard up. Let's go down here. Can we go down here? We can't. Shh, let's hide. It's only a matter of time. Wrap it up quickly, I'm getting hungry. Holy shit. It won't take long now. Going back to the basement to finish the job, you keep an eye out for insurgents. Holy shit. Lucky I brought my shovel. No worries, have fun. Alright, he's going away. I'll take sentry duty over interrogating. Okay, I wonder if we can just sneak up on this guy. Oh shit. Is he gonna come through here? Got him! Dead! Holy shit. Actually killed him. Legitimately killed him. I don't know where that other guy is though. Let's go back down. Shit. He's down there. How do you get down there? Oh, okay. There's three of them? I guess we need to take... Maybe that guy has a gun. this. On pilot documents, the insurgents will be trying to flee the city via the humanitarian corridor. They will be trying to pass for civilians, parents with children. Don't get fooled. Deal with them accordingly. So they took that notice. Alright, let's take his shit. It's already 2am. Okay. We're in business now. 
This is pretty hectic. We've got dual combination. Let's go. Alright, I think we're just gonna bust in there and kill him. Wait, if we look at him... This guy definitely has a gun. I don't know about this guy, but he probably does too. Let's just go. Now this guy too. Die! Hey, fuck! Come on! What the fuck? Run! Yes! Oh man, we got him. Fuck! We are incredibly wounded. Lethally wounded. He doesn't seem to be very good at hand to hand combat. <laughs> That's okay. No, please don't hurt me anymore. Relax, you're safe now. My daughter was brought to your hospital. Where is she now? Don't remember everything. They kept me for so long. Was she taken to the corridor? Probably. The old church. Okay. Wow. Kind of need to run back. What does this guy have? And then we'll just leave. Wow, we killed three guys here. Gotta leave this place fast. Whew. Take the gun. Thank you very much. And... Bullets. Alright, let's go. We need to leave. He can't even run. Well, I don't think we'll make it. Please. Yeah, I know you should get back. Go this way. Go, go this way. Ah. Oh. Dawn has caught Adam. Please come back, Adam. Please come back. Even if you're lethally wounded, that's fine. He made it back. Oh, thank God. Oh. It's got some ugly looking wounds. Severely wounded. Okay. No worries. That's fine. I managed to save the doctor from those murderers. And he told me to talk to Father Demir at the church. He knows where Amelia is. Alright. Um, oh shit, it's Franco. Probably gonna need some more bandages. He doesn't have any. Okay. I'll take that. And that. I can sell you a weapon. <laughs> Too damn impressive, he says. Take that. Uh, what else do we need? Oh wait, I don't want to give you both. Okay. So that's where he draws the line. Maybe coffee? He'll like that. Very generous. We need components. Why does he never have components? Alright, I think that's all we're going to be able to get from him. Alright. Cool. So, severely wounded. We should bandage that up. Take your time. <laughs> Bandage that up. He's depressed again. Okay, um, maybe eat that. Because 
You need to be at your best health when you're recovering. He's not hungry, that's good. Uh, let's see what we can cook. Oh, nice. Look at that. Let's make that. What sort of things do we have? Still not many components, to be honest. And let's put some stuff on the fire. If he's still severely wounded, I don't think I should go to the church. I'll probably just sleep. That's enough. And let's rest. Recovering. Beautiful. Alright. Let's end the day. He's still severely wounded. Oh, I think we need to rest, man. I'm sorry. I'd love to go to the church, but... And it's probably even safe there. But we just can't risk his health. He needs to stay. Ah. <sighs> Doesn't seem to be getting better. Severely wounded recovering. We're out of bandages too. Oh boy. Um. Shit. I'm bleeding fast. We can run again. And we can't make the bandage thing. Don't think we can do that. Nope. Alright, eat the food. And then, I don't know, go to sleep again. There's nothing else we can do. Apparently it's still 12 degrees. Crazy. The fact that he can run is a good thing. Oh, we got food here. Okay. So I probably have to go to the church now. Or at least to the hospital. Actually, no, he was... He was lethally wounded. Now he's severely wounded, so he did improve. And let's just bait that with another one. And I don't know, go to sleep. That's all you can do, man. Unfortunately, we can't change the bandage. I would have bought one if I could, but Franco wasn't selling. Alright, uh, we're going to go to the church. I don't think I need to bring a gun. <laughs> Let's bring a shovel though. So many bodies. Are they the people who came here for the humanitarian corridor? Civilian shot in the back of the head. Holy crap. Maybe I should have brought my gun. I thought this was a church. More bodies. Someone rounded up these people and killed them in cold blood. Holy crap. These just look like normal people. Alright. Let's ask. Excuse me, Father. I'm looking for my daughter, Amelia. Please, tell me she didn't die in the massacre. She didn't. Thank goodness, is she here? She is. You can go to her. Oh, wow! <laughs> my prayers are with her. Where is she? Oh, hey! I need some bandages. Yay, thank you. <laughs> I 
That was convenient. I've been here before? What? Oh, he's remembering? What's going on? Memories are coming back. Did she die? She died. He buried her in the backyard. He looked for meds. Meds didn't help. They went to the doctor. Oh, that's why the doctor said that he's seen him before. He did see him before. The doctor. So he did go to the doctor. I thought it was his brother. The doctor couldn't help either. We're too late. Shit. That sucks. So she's been dead this whole time. Why was his brother trying to... Was he just imagining the whole thing? We didn't believe that the war would really break out and then it was too late to run. The siege took my beloved Barbara and now Amelia is all I have left. I had to trade away almost everything we had, but I managed to get some meds for Amelia. My brother wanted to take Amelia away to help him get through the humanitarian corridor. I threw him out. Amelia disappeared. I woke up and Amelia was gone. Was she kidnapped? I couldn't remember anything. I must have fallen asleep. This is just the events of what happened in the story. I guess. My brother has been murdered. I found his body on the floor in a pool of blood. We didn't get on well, but I never wished him dead. Amelia wasn't there. Who took her? An old hobo told me where to look for Amelia, but not before demanding most of my food. A small price to play for a clue about my daughter. Several soldiers were killed by Adam. Yeah, that happened. I managed to save the doctor from those murderers. He told me the location of the humanitarian corridor and said Amelia must have been along among the refugees. Men, women and children who gathered by the church in hopes of evacuation were massacred in cold blood. The unwanted memories of that fatal night came rushing back. Amelia hadn't been kidnapped after all. I tried to save her, but failed. Unable to accept it, I lived in denial until now. Dissociative amnesia is a memory disorder characterized by a sudden retrograde memory loss and is caused by severe stress or trauma such as that of witnessed, witnessing the death of a loved one. The person suffering from it forgets the painful experience as if it never happened and lives in denial. Holy shit. That's horrible. 
that's how it's going to end? Wow. Oh. I mean, I was looking forward to building up my house and getting a, an industry going and selling some valuable things and stuff like that. And hopefully having some people come and moving in. But I guess you, there's just the story and that's it. Ooh. It was a good story though. <laughs> Damn, it was sad. So sad. Still trying to process it all. Alright. Well, I guess that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed the series. I guess it's a pretty short series in the end, but... It is a pretty small DLC, so... I didn't expect it to be a 40 day campaign. But yeah. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment, tell me your thoughts. Tell me what you think about the story. It was incredibly sad. Honestly, the moment the, moment the penny dropped, I was very sad. I'm a bit disappointed I didn't get to go into the, into the backyard. I guess if you do exploring in some of the places that you don't need to go, you might find a key or something like that. I don't know. Let me know if you've played it and you have been able to get in there. Or, yeah, just let me know your thoughts. I'd, I'd love to hear what you think about this game. And I'll catch you in the next video, guys. Take care.